For a long time, Barcelona have been the laughing stock of Europe, going from humiliation to humiliation to humiliation in the Champions League. They would seem to do well in La Liga and fans would show signs of hope every time things seemed to improve, but on the biggest stage in front of everyone, they always fell short, to the pleasure of thousands of Real Madrid, PSG and Premier League fans. Would this nightmare ever stop? Could Barcelona ever win the Champions League again? Well, with every year, Barcelona seemed to improve again. It even seems like God himself has showed some mercy upon them with their easy Champions League draw this time. So, maybe the laughing is over. Maybe Barcelona can finally go and try to win it this time to prove everyone wrong. It's been goddamn 9 years since we've won it, it's time again. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but it's too early for Barcelona to win the Champions League right now. And I'll tell you why. Barcelona's squad has improved massively over the last two years. Where we used to have a grand Papi gay and a crippled Langlais, we now have Koundé and Araujo, Dani Alves has finally been replaced, we have a proper striker, there is more depth, and you can keep going on really. Laporta has actually done wonders, and Barcelona, if you only think about quality, actually have a squad that could win a Champions League, right? I mean, in every position there's at least a more than decent player, and there are some world-class talents in this team. I'm not bullshitting you here. Compare our squad to that of Bayern Munich or Man City and pure quality wise, the difference isn't that big. And I mean, we won La Liga last season over Real Madrid, that's just proof that Barcelona are not to be messed with anymore. So we have a great squad, we won La Liga, then why the hell can't we hope and dream of Champions League victory? Well, one answer is chemistry. Barcelona's squad has improved massively over the last two years. Two years. Bro, these players don't know each other for that long, and lots of them have only arrived this summer or have just come up through La Masia. They need more time to adapt to each other. Really. Just think about all of the previous Champions League winning teams. Man City last season, a well-oiled machine that has been shaped perfectly by Guardiola over the last, what, 8 years? Only after 8 years of trying could Man City win it. Of course, there is different reasons for that, but we can all agree that the chemistry of Man City's team is probably the greatest out there at the moment. And a big reason for that is that they have a core of players that has played together for quite a while now, always in the same system for all of these years. Also, think about Real Madrid in 2022. They also had a core of players who had been at Real Madrid for a long while combined with new players who could learn from them. Barcelona right now have Ter Stegen who has really been here for long and is still world class, but the other players either lack experience, haven't been in Barcelona for that long yet or are just not good enough anymore. You can't compare that to Real Madrid in 2022 where Modric, Benzema, Courtois and Carvajal, to just name a few, were all very experienced in the Champions League and were still great players. I could still go on and name other teams like Bayern Munich in 2020 or Liverpool in 2019, and as much as I hated to praise teams like them who humiliated us, they built up their team for years until it became a machine that was just unstoppable. Xavi's Barcelona definitely has the potential of becoming such a machine, but after only two years of improvement, I'd say that we're still in the early stages of Xavi's great Barcelona spell. We're only experiencing the dawn of what might be one of the greatest teams of all time. Apart from chemistry, there's something else that you already know will hold Barcelona back at some crucial moments this season. You already know what it is. Injuries. At the moment, Pedri and Araujo, arguably Barcelona's two most important players, are out injured. And even though we all hate to think about it, you just know that injuries will, at some part of the season, before some crucial game, the quarterfinals in the Champions League for example, hold Barcelona back from being at their very best. It is just another reason why Barcelona won't win the Champions League this season. So we won't win the Champions League, just accept it bro. But our group stage draw is ideal, right? Yes, it absolutely is, and of course Barcelona will top their group and get some confidence out of those games against Porto, Shakhtar and Antwerp, but it's in the knockout stages that this team will have a hard time. In the round of 16, I see Barcelona go through because being first in their group would probably mean that they won't get too much of a difficult opponent. After that though, they will meet difficult opponents. But Barcelona by then might be a truly world-class team. They have a chance, right? They sure do, and they won't get humiliated this time, that's for sure. They will compete. 
But this Barcelona team has never really been through Champions League knockout stages, and neither has Xavi as a coach. In other words, they have zero experience. And you expect them to be able to go and win the Champions League after overcoming experienced opponents like Man City, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid? It's possible, of course, and it might be close. I see this Barcelona team really competing and they might very well reach the semi-finals. But they will just lack that edge at the very biggest moment right now. It's a little too early, but it will be exciting. Lastly, this Barcelona team has got its weaknesses that will get exposed at the very biggest stage. We might get destroyed by counter-attacking football like against Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey last season or like against Inter in the group stage in that game at the Camp Nou. Lewandowski might flop at the very biggest moments. I mean, that's what happened against Bayern Munich last season. This Barcelona team has weak points that can very easily be used against them. And it would surprise me if no team would choose to directly attack those weaknesses when they play against Barca. That's why we cannot win the Champions League right now. But I don't want to kill everyone's hope here. Barcelona actually have a chance of winning it, and they should go all in on trying to win it. Winning the Champions League would be an incredible achievement for Xavi's Barcelona, and they shouldn't aim for less either. If you're Barcelona, you do have to go for the very best, and they might not end up winning it, but I do think that they will really compete like in the old days and make sure that they're respected name again all over Europe. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca and have a good day.